King Aland the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force, and the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land, but none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs, Yurt the Silent Chief, Sage Urbane, Skurver the Wanderer, the Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland, and Sage Freak the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber.
gone from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect it. You slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now, go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed boletaria? I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here, in the Nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Best of luck to you. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. That candle maiden cared for me during my first days in the Nexus. She says very little, but has a kind heart. She's just the age my young daughter would have been. The poor, poor girl, trapped here with her eyes occluded by wax. If only something could be done to help her. Best of luck to you.
date you? Care to look over my wares? Mostly stolen, but who's telling you? Be a brave knight or depraved slave, the demons will snatch your soul, then you'll go mad. And those who dare cling to their humanity are hunted down. It is the end of Great Boletaria, as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle! <laughs> There's this skinny fella, clad in fabulous armor, who's always mumbling about some mission. He's another one who's managed to stay sane like yourself. Probably some pampered son by the looks of his attire. I'd give an arm just for the buttons off his shirt. Go ahead, take your time. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> That was a bold jump. A surprise indeed. Well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dreglings. My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Boletaria. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. Yeah. <laughs> 
The monumental awaits the above. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the Old One. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the Old One back to his slumber yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet diligent land. One the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowmen. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to accept this mission? Yes, we are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. What is it? Dost thou seek soul power? So be it. After all, thou requirest strength. Go forth, touch the demon inside me. Let these ownerless souls become thine own. Soul of 
the mind key to life's ether. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. here to tend to the flames. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. Art thou done? May thine strength help the world be mended. That hairpin, that belongs to my daughter. Then, she didn't make it after all. My dearest little baby, may she rest in peace. May I ask you a favor? Would you mind giving up that hairpin? I'd like to have it in memory of my daughter. You're a saint. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I mustn't forget. It's not much, but please accept this as thanks. I'm a bit ashamed to say, but I found it one day, discarded on the main road. But it seems to possess a strange power. Anyway, I feel that you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. Yonder! Over here! It's me, Ostrava! Look at me, again surrounded by evil warriors. Could you, perhaps, help me one last time? Clear out the soldiers at the far end of this passage, if it pleases you. The Lord's Path, just down yonder, has degenerated into a feeding ground for flying dragons. Have your wits about you!
Thank you. That makes twice. Thanks to you, I can now forge ahead. This is a token of my gratitude. Please accept it. At its peak, Boletaria was a grand kingdom. The king, his knights, and his subjects were modest and plain, but also steadfast and compassionate. In the distant southern kingdom, Boletaria was known as paradise on earth. But look at what has become of us now. I refuse to believe that this is what father wished for our great land. Here in Boletaria, we speak of the legend of the Two Swords and the Last Hero. The Two Swords are Demonbrandt and Soulbrandt. One sword banishes that which befouls man, and the other banishes man himself. The Last Hero is Old King Doran. King Doran is the Everlasting One, founder of Boletaria and protector of the Two Swords. <laughs> of course, only according to legend. But in the dark state of our land, legends are all we can depend upon.
Won't you buy something? My poor child is hungry. How many years has it been? That witch Astraya came to this valley with that squid-headed knight. Those ridiculous white robes of hers. I swear I caught her glaring at my son in disgust. Yes, yes, it's true, she is as nasty as they come. And she's a demon to boot. Doesn't surprise me. Finished already? My little one is a growing boy. Please be generous. Must be another disciple of God. I too am on a quest to fight the demons in the name of the Lord. May I share God's power with you? Do not be bashful. We are both cut from the same cloth. A miracle is a heavenly act, but spells are the acts of demons, the work of soul arts. They have similar effects, and yet one is clearly evil, and the other is clearly good. Magicians, in the end, are mere servants of the demons. Miracles are the work of God. May your actions mimic His greatness. I have sinned. I swore allegiance to Saint Urbain, but was of no use to him. And now I have run away and abandoned his honorableness. 
O oh Lord, punish me, for I have not the strength to punish myself. O oh, Honorable One, I hesitate to imagine your present state, deep within the darkness where no light shall ever shine. Will you continue to pray, even in such misery? You, have you seen my corporeal flesh? Has my body gone rotten? King Alant led Boletaria with a round table of brave knights. The royal twin fangs, Valifax and Bure, Alfred, the Knight of the Tower, Metas, the Knight of the Lance, and the brave tribesman Longbow Ulin and his fearsome legions. But today, Boletaria is an abysmal mess. Valifax was lost, and Bjor slipped through the fissure, never to be heard from again. All the rest, along with Boletaria, have been devoured by the fog, and will soon be prey to the demons. The Boletarian Knights are no longer. But perhaps our age will see the rise of new heroes, such as yourself. Uh, who are you? I don't remember anything. Hey, I know you. Won't you buy something? My poor child is sick. He needs your help. This place? It's a proper mound of rubbish. All the rot of the world, living or not, ends up here. I thank the stars that I still have my boy. Since that demon witch came here, everything has turned foul. This was a much better place before she came. I was the apple of every man's eye. You're here to rid us of her, aren't you? Well, don't show her any mercy. Finished already? You wretched penny pincher. Just like the children of the poor die, is that it?
here to face the demons? If so, please free Sage Freak the Visionary from the Dungeon of Latria. I will help you however I can. I can teach you elementary spells. Sage Freak is a gleaming hope for humankind, but I have not the power to save him alone. Freak is a great sage who systemized the magic of the soul arts to make it possible for human imitation. By observing the state of Boletaria and the demons within it, he's likely to pave the way for greater things. All the more reason that I must meet Freak as soon as possible. Me? Without doubt, I made my best effort to save Sage Freak. But I had not the strength. It's as simple as that. Besides, if I myself were captured, who would stand here and recruit rescuers? Be careful how you use it. Normally, it would not be granted to one such as yourself. I had to make an exception for the sake of Sage Freak. Go forth, Galvinland. May you be unharmed. This is a sanctuary for the lost and wretched. There is nothing here for you to pillage or plunder. Please, leave quietly. Abandoned us. Is that not punishment enough? 
Ha, <laughs> We meet again, fancy that. Hope you find something that suits you. The king, he's gone mad like the rest of them. But perhaps he was mad in the first place. I can never tell with those eccentric royal oafs. Hard times, eh? I'm sure you'll turn things around. <laughs>
thank you for rescuing me. Who goes there? Uh, you killed that vile insect and saved me. <laughs> I am called Bio, the elder of the twin fangs of Boletaria. I thank you. You deserve a handsome reward. Only I have none. <laughs> Go on ahead. I shall sleep a while.
You, is it? My father is up above. Well, what's left of him anyway? He's transformed into a fiendish demon. I began this quest in a search for truth, but it seems I was a fool to even try. Please, kill my father. In his degenerated state, he can only bring peril to the lands. This key. It's the Boletaria Mausoleum. Inside the Mausoleum are my father's two swords, Soulbrand and Demonbrand. Use them to bring an end to this madness. Seeketh the king's sword. I am the old king. Show me thine strength and the strength of thine souls. Prepare thyself, brave knight. well to impress one such as me, young knight. I am old King Doran, and thou hast proven thine strength to me. Go forth and take the king's sword in thine hand. for souls. Our little town. Well, it's a nice wee place. All those lizard-eyed townsfolk are busy tinkering with stone. And don't bother with old men like myself. Makes life rather easy for me. I can get away with anything. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for this golden opportunity. <laughs> You're wanting. 
to play. Well, you've got to pay, don't you agree? You're not mad like the rest, are you? Well, what jolly travelling companions are we? Pleased to meet you. Call me Patches. Oh, see that treasure over there? Go on and take it. My gift to you, just to show that we're friends. Phew, I'm glad to meet you. These soul-starved imbeciles will drive you mad. What's the matter? I'm going out on a limb here. Give me a chance to prove my good faith. Uh-oh. Well, who'd have thought it? Bear bugs! My apologies. It's just not your day. As promised, the treasure is all yours. If you survive, that is. Good luck to you. How did you do that? Worry not. The treasure is all yours. 
tough luck with the bear bugs, but you certainly showed them, didn't you?
I remember you. I'm glad I found you. I found some really nice trinkets. Well, we've been long acquainted, so I'm willing to part with them at a special price. But only if you buy today. Well, do as you please. But don't come a-crying when it works not. You're an ordinary human, aren't you? Where do you call home? Oh, dear me, I shouldn't pry. Oh, perhaps you'd like something from my collection. I've had better days. I was once the wife of royalty, and I have some nice things to show for it. Before, there were many others trapped here. But they went mad, and ventured above of their own volition. Redemption? <laughs> there exists no such thing. The Queen banished her depraved old husband from the land. He returned in strange golden garb with foul demons in tow. They pillaged Great Latria, land of the learned, and locked us in this dungeon. Since then, they've been feeding off our souls, telling us over and over that if we go above, we will be granted redemption. I know the truth. The church goddess may die, but never for long. And we are trapped below forever. Well, that's quite all right. I wish to stay here, but I need souls to stay sane. Surely you must understand this.
Oh, human are you? I am Freck. I have been trapped here for ages. Perhaps you could help me get out of here. I am a sage, and I can lend you my power in return. Oh, take heed of those octopus-headed guards. What do you want? I am a humble servant. I do not wish to interfere. I won't cause you trouble. I won't. I thought my magic would give me an edge against these demons, but how wrong I was. I have been enfeebled by my long imprisonment. But I can still move my legs, and I can make it back to the Nexus. I thank the stars that I escaped when I did. I owe you my life. Rejoice, fools, for it is as you wished. Thank you. 
game for eternity. Rejoice, fools, for it is as you wished. <laughs>
You saved Sage Freight, did you not? Then I was right to bend the rules and teach you a few tricks. Nevertheless, I'm grateful to you. Do you see how important selfless acts are in this dreary world? Hmm. I have a proposal for you. Could you bring your demon souls to me? As I determine more about the essence of the soul, I can teach you new magic. A demon soul is no mere amalgamation of lesser souls. You have your wits about you. Surely you understand me? Do you have a connection to the disciples? Do not pay attention to them if they speak poorly of me and my magic. Prayer is for the foolish, quaint, and soon to be dead. And heaven forbid the day you find out what their so-called God really is. I was defeated and captured by the Golden Elder beyond that dungeon. Beware of him, for he manipulates souls. He has power over dark souls, those susceptible to madness and paranoia. I know of three human leaders who became demons. King Alant of Boletaria, Astraea of the Valley of Defilement, and the Golden Elder of Latria. They have proven that humans can evolve to a higher state we were wrong to assume that only demons could do demon work. I am fully prepared. Please fetch more demon souls. I can still be patient, my fine magician friend.
Cool. You saved me. Heavens, I can't believe I fell for that trap. I suppose I owe you now. I'm Grave Robber Blige. As thanks, I can provide you with useful goods. Who couldn't do with a little help down in these parts? This shrine was used in a ghastly ritual by an ancient tribe. They've long perished, and now demons have put the souls to work. At least here you're killing things that are already dead, like skeletons and shadow lurkers. That's what I like about this place. Better than killing those poor, soul-starved humans, right? Nothing suits you fancy, well don't be too frugal. A bit of indulgence goes a long way. Hello there. We meet again. You look terrible. Cheer up. Life is an adventure. <laughs> There's somebody I ought to warn you about. A fellow who lacks common decency. They call him Patches the Hyena. And he's the one that laid that trap for me. He's the kind of person who'd stab his mother in the back. If you happen to spot him, You'll be doing us all a favor by putting him out of his misery. Have you been to the altar where sorcerers summon shadows? Well, I think someone may be trapped in the lower cavity. I heard them praying for dear life. Pity the poor fool. He probably fell for one of Patch's old tricks. Suit yourself, but a bit of indulgence goes a long way.
Hello again. That pit there is filled with treasure. But, uh, I can't get to it myself. Go on, have a look. It's more riches than I've ever dreamed of. What's keeping you? Have a look at that treasure down in the pit. Then we'll work out a way to fish it out. <laughs> me, eh? Take your time starving to death. Then I'll sell every last trinket off your corpse. <laughs> Heavens, did you fall for that little devil's trap? Well, I did the same. He fooled me, and now I am stuck here. The reverberations seem to suggest that we are connected to the outside. But dark, fearsome souls stand between us and freedom. But have no fear. God will cleanse us of evil. Pray with me, Umbasa. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Well, I mean, a man's got to make a living, right? Here, look. I can make up for it. There aren't many humans like us. We need to stick together. I know. Here, take this as a token of my friendship. You've seen one of these before, surely. <laughs> Come on, let's be friends. What do you say? No need to drag each other down. Oh, it's you. God has chosen you, and for that we are thankful, Umbasa.
thanks to you, I was able to seek refuge in this nexus. Now I stay here and pray, along with my disciples, for the heroes facing the demons. If you wish for benevolent protection in your fight against the demons, then bring me demon souls. I will cleanse them and perform a miracle with their power. After the dark arts spread across the land, holy miracles were witnessed once again. The will of God is clear. We must defeat the demons, annul the curse of Boletaria, and purge the evil magicians who manipulate those accursed souls. As you know, souls are a source of evil power emanating from the demons. King Alant was overcome by a lust for such power, and has placed Boletaria in her present predicament. Old Freak and the Candle Maiden are no exception. Yes, I see. I certainly cannot force you to do anything. But you must remember this. A demon soul is a source of evil power. My, you have rescued the Honorable One. I express my deepest gratitude. You have relieved me of a great onus. Oh, thank God. I'm better. With Lord Abane back, the magicians will have to watch themselves. Thanks to his holy miracles, you brave battlers of demons will no longer be solely dependent on dark magic. Isn't it wonderful? Surely the demon slayers have awaited such an opportunity. Defeat my precious demon. No human has an appetite for souls such as you. 
The rest is up to the old one. If it is to be, then you shall be back in again. I hear voice of your. The old one is calling for thee. Let us proceed below to its lair. See what thou wishest, thy new demon. Come now, be good. Let us proceed below to its lair. You have been chosen by the Old One. Shalt thou seek everlasting demon souls? Or obey that naive monumental. Whatever your choice, you are our first visitor. May you be welcome here.
Surely you have seen for yourself the pain and suffering that fills this world. The fight poisoned with poisons. God is merciful. And so, who created the Old One? The Old One will feed on our souls and put an end to our tragic realm of existence. Fulfilled. from the demons, but also lost its knowledge of soul arts. The souls lost during the pandemonium were never retrieved. And today, the unstable world has another monumental to hold its fabric together. A brave new hero of unprecedented power. 